So before the video really starts, I just want to give a big shout out to Fear Operator for giving me a free copy of Halo The Master Chief Collection. I have had so much fun the other day just blowing through the game with a couple of older friends that I usually hang out with. I would not have been able to hang out with my friends were it not for Fear Operator because I was actually holding out to next month so I could have more money to buy the game. But this guy, I didn't even ask, he just came in and he was like, here you go, do rag And I was like, <gasps> Well, you shouldn't have. Thank you, Fear Operator. You're a cool guy. Let's get into the video. So what's new with Ground Branch? What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ground Branch. Today we're going to be talking about updates that are going to come out fairly soon and what they're going to be working on in the future and then I'll show off gameplay of that current build that I was able to play in the dev build. So first we're going to be starting off with sounds. Do you remember those ugly sounding movement sounds every time that you would move around the map? Just those god awful walking sounds? Ugh. Well, rejoice, gamers, because this next update is going to update the sounds. Oh, yeah, that's already a better improvement than what they had before. But not only are they updating the, you know, walking sounds, they're also refining sounds that we previously heard in the game. Take this AK and M4, for instance. This is what it sounds like in the current version. Oh, it just sounds so fucking beefy. I like it. I'm not entirely sure what weapons are going to get refined or new sounds, but I'm going to assume that a majority of them are, in which case, cool. The last thing I want to say about sound is that they actually now have bullet trailing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Before we get into what's new about the maps, they also added some new sites. I'm not entirely sure if this is all they added, but here's the ones that I was able to get my hands on. First, we got the Micro T2. In the current version, the only ones that they have is the Micro T1 and the short one, but now the T2 and tall T2, I guess you call it, are going to be added into the game, which is pretty neat. Then there was also this other one that I was able to get my hands on, which is the EKP818. I think that it's really good on SMGs being honest so i'm sure there's more to come when it comes to optics and uh you know guns but let's move on to the next thing here so let's talk about what's new with the levels. Some of you might have already noticed, but um, in the development build, it seems as if they have added more saturation to each map because before it used to be kind of dull and murky and now it just really is more eye candy. Like I really like what they did with the color palette here, adding a lot more bright colors that really pop with the environment, you know, making it feel more alive. So that's kind of cool. I think it's really good that they're actually using, you know, a more eye catching color palette because some of the maps actually did look kind of dull so i'm glad that they're doing that they also seem to have fiddled with the shadows a bit to make them look more like shadows and also added some god rays pretty cool pretty cool so let's move on from that now i'm going to be talking about what they added to current maps there have been some additions and some alterations to specific maps the first one i'm going to be talking about is small town it's a simple town with about four buildings that under a recent update now all the buildings are actually named by letters but anyways they now connected two buildings by adding a walkway on top of the roofs so if you get up there now you can walk to the next building and try to attack that one there's also a hatch on one of the buildings so if you get across the walkway you could actually go down into that hatch and bridge from that way and also stairs that lead up on the second building i think the thing that those buildings really need is cover because i'm not someone that likes to go up on top of buildings especially if there's not enough cover like where the ramp is they should add like a bunch of like rusty metal stuff like nailed onto the side of those freaking walkway right there so i can try it at least crouch run across so that way i don't get shot at because going on the roof is kind of risky because there's almost no cover up there yeah but i, I just kind of hope that they add cover up there if they want me to <laughs> freaking run across on top of that walkway but uh yeah before i move on to the next map one honorable mention on this map i was actually able to see what the new i guess you call it animations or what happens when you plant the bomb on a door and it explodes there's actually kind of an animation now like it explodes and the chunks go fl the chunks of the door just go flying into a bunch of pieces which is kind of cool i like that i'm glad that they're finally you know doing something about that and, and it's just not going to be a door that stays in one place and you just walk through it i like that but uh moving on to the next map which is depot 
This is a map that I've had issues with, especially on the night version of it, because it's really laggy sometimes. So I'm hoping that this next dev build will actually fix the map itself. But to what's new, they added in some of these new steel looking objects, I think, because I don't remember those being there. I believe those are magnets. I could be wrong, but I'm not entirely sure. Somebody wants to let me know down below. But they also added a office looking thing on the second floor of that same building. So it makes it seem like, you know, that's where things are getting done in terms of like paperwork and all that. But also a big change is adding a shit ton more trees like oh my god look at all the trees like it actually looks like a forest now i was playing with the community manager and he was actually given the reason as to why they decided to add more trees so here's what he said john basically said that his goal was to create more avenues of approach through the map so it was a little bit less bottlenecked and he definitely accomplished that there's all kinds of little ruts and ditches and you know hilltops and stuff all wound through the woods for doing something like a vip escort you know there's there's so many ways that you could sneak through the woods and try to make it to the helipad to escape yeah so this new iteration of depot is definitely going to give players a lot of cover when moving into the objective and i could definitely see different ways of going about this objective tactically so i really like the new changes at the end there he mentioned uh vip you know eventually ground branch is going to start working more on its multiplayer and i guess this is a better transition into the next map that we have which is 747 the biggest change as far as i've seen is the one where they added a new level to the plane itself they added the cockpit You clear the cockpit. Oh, shit, this is new. Oh, this looks this looks nice. My last bullet. Yeah, I tried blasting the glass. Oh. I like how it actually fell down like actual glass. <laughs> it's like before uh, it just used to like kind of stay there. Mm -hmm. The cockpit looks, looks nice. Yeah, I love it, man. It's gonna be really interesting. Could you imagine having a hostage up there for PvP? Oh, and I like how it actually has like a freaking. That's a nice little touch they put there. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Alright, on you. The last map that I wanted to talk about isn't new. It's a map that's been in the game for a while now, but it's as if they're ripping a page from Swap 4's and Ready or Not's book of taking an existing map that's meant for the multiplayer and altering it in a way so that it's suitable for co-op. The map itself differs from the multiplayer version because it's less open and there's a lot more nooks and crannies to hide in. There's also a different building because like in the multiplayer one, there's like only like four buildings I think it is. But in this version, there's like one big building with a bunch of corridors and doors with a bunch of rooms. And then you'll see freaking terrorists going back and forth in the doors like it's an episode of scooby-doo i think this is the first map in ground branch that felt close quarters to me and it kind of makes me wish that there was melee in the game because far too often does the ai run up on you and it just becomes kind of a staring contest to see who blinks first because when you and the ai or a teammate are within hugging distance your gun either goes up or down and it can't face forward and then it becomes the who's gonna back off first so that you can pull up your weapon and shoot at him i just kind of wish that they had like a locking system them so that I could click a button and lock my weapon to only look forward or give me melee so I could just beat the shit out of the guy that's standing in front of me because that, that that's the thing that kind of gets annoying but I do like the map it can get really claustrophobic when they start charging you definitely not easy for one player to go through but you can do it the fun factor is definitely off the charts I was actually playing ground branch on a stream on twitch which if you want to go watch that it's down in the description check out my twitch by the way it was definitely not easy to play this map especially when I would kind of get overwhelmed by them <laughs> I'd be like oh shit run away I gotta reload but yeah if there's any map that you want to check out it's probably this one I forgot the name of it but uh it's pretty fun and that's pretty much all the maps as far as i know i could be wrong but i believe that is all the notable maps that i can remember all the ones that had alterations and all the ones that had additions and all the ones that changed i think that's it i hope i got them all but i'm not sure but yeah the last thing that i want to bring to light is that finally Finally, after all this time, they decided to add a scoring system. Man, I've been playing this game for such a long time now, and this is like the first time that they actually brought this in. I'm so glad that this is finally here so I can see how many kills I actually got and who's lagging behind. Now I have another reason to yell at my teammates to be like, hey, why do you suck? I got so much more kills than you. What's going on? I'm so glad that this is finally here, man. Although I'm not entirely sure what the symbols actually mean sometimes. Like, I feel like it should be a little more clear because 
because the skull is making me think that I died like 16 times instead of actually getting, you know, kills. Like the deaths should be, you know, the skull and then like the aiming symbol should be like the terrorist or I don't know, something like that. Like I feel like it should make a little more sense. But yeah, what are your thoughts on this update? I honestly think that it's pretty cool. It's nice to see that there's actually being progress being done. The last thing I want to say before I go, they said that they were going to do animations sometime in mid-January. And this is movement animations, by the way. But again, that's subject to change. They originally were going to do it at the end of December, but unfortunately they had something wrong with the engine. So they pushed it back to mid-January. Again, that is subject to change, as is everything that I showed you. But yeah, tell me your thoughts on this update. Be sure to like and share if you're someone that likes my content and wants to see me succeed. Try checking out my Patreon to send me two bucks a month. If you're someone that's new, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. Stick around a little. Maybe you'll like my channel. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.